Alrighty YouTubers. So it is time for an updated top 10 best collectibles in my statue collection. Now this is not a top 10 bus or a top 10 general statues, but just including both, which is always a very difficult one because, you know, obviously bus are the most detailed and realistic uh, pieces in my collection, but does not necessarily mean they are my favorite statues in my collection. Uh, some of them are, though. Some bus will definitely be taking the top 10 list. You know, I'm a huge fan of bus, but at the end of the day, I do think I like statues just overall more. You know, I like their bases more. I like seeing the full figure. I like the fact, you know, they have concepts and poses, and bus are generally just, you know, no concept really outside of the base. Although that's changing with Infinity Studios having arms, which you can give it poses. But we are going to go ahead and look at my top 10 favorite collectibles in the collection. And we're just going to go it from 1 to 10. So it's a very difficult thing to make a top 10 list in all reality. Uh, just because I, each collectible, like my, it's realistically easier to do a top 30. But number one still is Prime 1 Wonder Woman on Horse. Uh, this one is number one for several reasons. Uh, one, it's a giant Gal Gadot on a giant horse. It's five feet tall. Uh, so the presence alone makes this just, you know, bigger is better. Uh, you know, I do believe that statement when it comes to statues. Bigger is always better uh, for the most part. Uh, so this piece being so incredibly massive, the presence is just unfreaking real, you know, and it is absolutely gorgeous in every possible way. I love the base. For a Wonder Woman movie themed base, it's perfect. Incorporating the whole World War theme, uh, the way the horse is like climbing up this sort of like hill in essence. Uh, almost think of it as when she was going up the hill into that no man's zone, you know, where you got these bags for blockage and this barrel and helmets, the dirt, the it, it's just phenomenal. The horse looks absolutely amazing. Love the real hair. I know some people didn't like it. I personally love it. And then Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, is absolutely gorgeous. Much better in person. Real metal sword, the god killer. Her costume, I love the vibrant paint. And her hair is just absolutely amazing the way it flows. You know, I am beyond happy to own this in my collection. So this is still my favorite favorite collectible in the collection as of today. And then we come to number two, which is going to be, dun dun dun, Prime One Shockwave. This is number two in my collection. Again, the size is what makes this just so incredibly impressive. Plus, you know, he is, I would say, the coolest looking Decepticon out there, even cooler looking than Megatron. Uh, you know, I love his face with the one sinister eye and almost like the little mouth. The ginormous freaking gun. This thing is humongous. He, just overall, his paint app is phenomenal with that slightly purple and, you know, silver paint app. The metallic paint. The base is freaking amazing. I love the giant drillers. They truly make this statue so special. Just the sheer size, though. I mean, look at this. Jupiter. This thing is out of this world amazing. I do think Prime 1 Optimus Jetwing will be as good as this. So definitely going to be like a, a contender for a top collectible in my collection. But Shockwave truly is one of the most impressive statues ever made. You know, a gem to behold and definitely never leaving my collection. So this is my second favorite statue in the collection. Then we come to number three. I'm going to say Cinema Cat Predator. Uh, you know, even though it's a 10 year old statue, it still holds today as one of the best collectibles ever made. We'll see if Prime One can top it. But the Predator design is, you know, this and the Xenomorph are the two best movie designed creatures in the history of mankind. They are absolute masterpieces. Cinema Cat, you know, did an absolutely phenomenal job on this piece. The base, 
Now, I did add that skull, by the way, but the detail, I love the fact these dreads are, like, movable like that. It's not just polystone, and I wish Prime 1 would do this as well, not just polystone. The mixed media aspect, the armor, everything about this, the paint app is just absolutely freaking gorgeous. Uh, so that is my third favorite collectible. The fourth is honestly going to be Big Chap. This thing is absolutely gorgeous as well. For me, it's my favorite alien statue. Uh, I love the base the most, the detail, the paint app, the skull dome. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. The back wall adds so much to this piece, really bringing out that presence. Just a phenomenal looking piece. Uh, you know, such a grail. So... Very, very happy on that. Number five is going to be King Ghidorah. So this piece has really grown on me to just be absolutely mind-boggling good. Uh, so the presence is just wild with the giant wingspan. The three dragon heads look awesome. I love the fact that our you know, going in different directions with different mouth poses. And the paint app is amazing. The base is awesome. The wings look incredible. It truly is one of the best statues I own. You know, very, very happy to own this. It's kind of crazy I almost passed at one moment on this, but this is, without a doubt, one of the coolest pieces I own. Uh, so this is number five on my list. Then we come to number six. Number six, I'm going to say Queen Arnold bust. Uh, yeah, this is probably my favorite bust of my collection still, purely because of the battle damage. Uh, you know, it makes this bust just out of this world awesome. If it didn't have the battle damage, it definitely would not be this high up on my list. But the battle damage alone, with that skin torn off the flesh, seeing the endo underneath... The bullet holes in the neck. This thing is just freaking grail city when it comes to a life-size bust. So that's number six. Number seven is the Pennywise bust. Uh, purely because I did add the Prime 1 base, which in itself is a masterpiece. Then when you add the Blue Box bust, it just makes it even that much better. So this is my second favorite bust of my collection. Uncanny likeness detail paint app. You know, it has the best mouth, uh, like acrylic teeth, this and the nun, really. Uh, I love the hand-punched hair. The way they did it is just flawless. You know, truly a masterpiece of a bust. The only reason Arnold beats it is because of that battle damage. You know, Pennywise doesn't have that, but otherwise, Pennywise, I would say, is probably the most impressive. So... That is number five and six. So we have three more. This is where things truly get difficult. Oof. Three more. I'm going to have to say probably... Prime 1 Sauron's next. That's number 7. Uh, this is the best 1-4 scale statue ever made. Obviously, the size plays the biggest factor. It's 43 inches tall. The base is also the best base I've seen on a 1-4 scale statue. You know, the whole under base is one of the coolest I've seen. And then having the lava with all the skulls and armor and everything. Just freaking amazing. And he is perfect himself the armor detail the paint app he's a flawless piece zero issues like i can't find a single like thing i'm like ah, oh, i don't like that it is absolutely perfect so that is number seven number eight i'm gonna say queen wonder woman bust now, I do have Infinity Studios Wonder Woman busts on the way, like it's paid for and it should ship today, uh, and then I'll have it probably end of the month. I do think it will beat this. 
I do like the queen base better, but everything else I like better on the Infinity Studios. Although I really do love the color of the armor and the gold on this one. I do think overall the Infinity Studios will beat it based on like skin detail, likeness, more accurate hair color. But in general, this bust is just absolutely freaking gorgeous in so many ways. You know, it is my favorite bust among the three Trinity. Maybe it's likely just due to my love of Wonder Woman, her costume, and everything. Even though these are much bigger, I still like this one more. But I do believe that Infinity Wonder Woman will beat this and probably become my favorite bust. But she does edge out Superman slyly. Superman is more detailed and bigger. And in general, just more impressive. But I like this one more. So, Queen Wonder Woman is number eight. Number nine is Rotunda T-Rex. You know, I'm a huge fan of dinosaurs, and this is the best one. It's the Holy Grail. I would probably only give this two small faults. One, the way they did the skin for the raptor, if you don't want to display the raptor, the peg is just horrendous, and they should have did that better. And then two, I do think the paint app could be slightly improved. Uh, not on the body, but more or less like... I really wish it had glass eyes, and I think the teeth color should be different. Uh, you know, I own a lot of different dinosaur statues, and I just think it should be more white instead of the color they chose. You know, almost more similar to the Chronicle, uh, or even that T-Rex, I think, is a little bit more accurate. Not like it's bad, but I think, you know, realistically, it should have just been a different color, and then the eye should have been glass. Then it would have been flawless, and fix that. No piece is without its faults, but for what it is, it's still an absolute grail. And for that reason, you know, it's number eight on the list. Number eight? Are we at eight? No, wait. No, number nine. Number nine. Then we come to number ten. All right, give me one second. Let me think. Tenth best collectible. All righty, so after much thinking, because uh, I did uh, pause the video, uh, Goro is my tenth favorite in my collection. Uh, Goro is the reason I got into statue collecting, and this is the ultimate Goro statue, uh, the MKX. Uh, modern design, so the costume has tons of detail. The base is perfect for a Mortal Kombat statue, being Goro's lair. The pose is fantastic. You know, he's not blocking too much, but he still is in, like, an action pose. Uh, the detail and paint app is fantastic. You know, they did real hair, uh, real, like, fur and leather, and overall just absolutely fantastic. The necklace looks like real gems. Massive, massive piece. So the size definitely makes it the most impressive. Uh, you know, one of my favorite one-thirds for sure. So, yeah, I would definitely put Goro as number 10. So that is my top 10 favorite collectibles as of right now. A few honorable mentions uh, of statues that just couldn't quite make the list. Uh, but were definitely highly considered I would say uh, Superman Bust by Infinity Studios. That was highly considered uh, for the top 10. As well as, I mean, Wolf Predator Legendary Scale. Definitely always one of my favorites. Uh, you know, those two would definitely get it. Honestly, any of my ECC products are so good. Uh, even Red Sonia. But I would say those are my top 10 favorite collectibles in the collection as of right now. Uh, so, of course, this is always ever-changing depending on mood and hype and lots of different factors. But one fact remains Shockwave, Cinema Cat, Wonder Woman on Horse. You know, they will always be a top, you know, top in my collection for sure. But... Infinity Studios Wonder Woman bust, I do think might become my favorite bust in my collection. I think it might possibly top Arnold and Pennywise. 
and Prime 1 Predator Jungle Hunter, if they can match the Proto, I think it will become the best statue ever made. As well as Godzilla vs. Kong as a diorama will become the, you know, that will likely become my favorite collectible in my collection as well. So we'll do an updated top 10 once I get a lot more grails in the collection. But as of now, this is my 10 favorite. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And your 10 favorite statues, well, top three. Let's just do three. <laughs> uh, top three favorite from my collection and your collection. And that's it, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.